Guys, it's Greg Campbell, Angry Tones Riff Clips coming at you with another exciting Angry Riffs clip here. Um, got a pedal from Chris Ray, Premium Effect Pedals. And uh, last time we were demoing the uh, Green Dragon Overdrive, this time he sent me the Black Widow Overdrive. And this thing is sounding sinister right here. I mean, it's incredible. I just want to go over a couple of things with you guys. And of course, as always, bring it closer to the frame so we can talk about the uh, knobs and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. This is a Black Widow from Chris Ray Premium Effects Pedals. Check it out. So here we go. You got a really, really smooth, shiny red enclosure here with, of course, the Black Widow logo here, which is hand painted by his wife, Michelle does an excellent job. Now, if you see here, there's actually two LEDs when you click this on, right, where the Black Widow has its red spots here. So it's actually a pretty cool aesthetic right there. Here's our bypass on and off. We've got our volume, our tone, and our gain. Right now I'm running this in almost like a tube screamer mode. However, I noticed you got a toggle here that gives you some warmth and some bite. And it's sounding incredible right now. And the gain, you can actually, it's a usable gain setting. I know on some Tube Screamers, when you bury the gain, you get a lot of hiss, a lot of hum, um, which can be cleaned up with a gate or just dial into the uh, setting of choice. But I get this on uh, the second setting. It's actually on a, you can feel where it stops and has different gain stages. Really, really cool. I'm liking it a lot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it with the Black Widow overdrive as always we're live here so i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in here on camera hit the standby there on the amp and we're gonna see what this does Let's see what she sounds like we're gonna be running it through my randall diablo trusty amplifier i love this damn thing these amps just sound mean, they're sick, and they're extremely affordable. You know what I mean? It's not really a budget amplifier per se, but they're not a thousand dollars unless you're getting the, uh, you know, 100 watt series can creep up to about 12 to 14, but uh, this is a great amplifier. RD20, running soft tech tubes in this beast, and uh, I like to use this amp with the boost on all the time, unless I'm playing just, you know, more classic hard rock type riffs, but for the metal stuff, I keep the boost on all the time. And that's why I'm such an avid believer in certain types of overdrives, because when you have a boost on an amp, sometimes when it's overdriven, it's too much, but with the right pedal, it'll snug and tighten it up, make it more articulate. And of course, I love that uh, super tight precision type riff. So let's see what the Blackwood Overdrive does to the Randall RD20. Let's go ahead and get a guitar. I'm gonna go ahead in this video and use my ESP. I love this natural mahogany body. I love the maple neck that goes all the way through. This is a through neck design. And uh, I'm using a custom five humbucker going through Randall with two Celestian Vintage 30 cabinets. Randall cabs with V30s. So here we go, let's hear the amp on its own. Have the tubes warm up, warming up as always. Gotta get that nice tone. Hell yeah, nice warm thick chugs, that's why I love this thing. And of course V30s just complement that tone. So anyway, let's see what the black puddle Black pedal, the Black Widow. It's a red pedal, not a black pedal. It's a red pedal. Let's see what the Black Widow does to this tone right here. It's not very noisy. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Right off the bat, I notice like a cocked wah sound. It's really pushing the front end hard, but giving it a really big lift in upper mids just from playing those few chugs right there. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the gain on it one more notch. Now it's a little noisier, just a hair. ridiculous click that pedal off so I can chat here it's got a little bit of a hum we're really loud today I like to crank it up but this is sounding sick I got a lot of favorite overdrives some that have been uh, recently acquired such as the Venom Ink Boost that is a pissed off violent sounding high gain pedal it takes any amp and just makes it a fire breathing you know tube amplifier even if it's a little 5 watt amp 20 watt or 100 watt amp um, my own signature drive from Noise Pollution Pedals, the Greg Campbell Gearbox. That's a little bit more focused on your um, super, super articulate type stuff. You know, you know, when you're in drop C sharp, drop B, drop A, um, seven, eight, nine string type guitars are gonna love that pedal. And this Black Widow Overdrive right now is killing it for me. It's killing it, it sounds really good. I'm also a fan of the Direwolf from High Wind Amplification. It's a great time to be a guitarist once again. There's so many nice overdrives out there, but each one is different in its own special way, whether it be toggle switches, whether it be you know a couple of different knobs, whether it has an EQ on board or something like that, um, or if it's just a three knob uh, type boost pedal. You know, there's a lot of boost pedals. You got single knobs, double knobs, triple knobs, whatever. Um, like the Protone pedals, uh, Gary Holt Boost is a fantastic example of a killer design for a boost pedal. And that's got three knobs, but it's also got a switch to uh, adjust the bell curve for your EQ. This is a three knob drive. You got your volume, your tone, and your gain, but your gain's got stacks here, so you can EQ it to taste. And uh, I'm already blown away. Sometimes it takes me a while to fill around with a pedal. I really like to get to know the pedal, dial it into the sounds that I use. You know, I don't play a lot of covers and stuff anymore. Sometimes it's fun to just dabble and learn something new, but I like to write a lot of my own original music, and the more I focus on that, the more I come up with my own original ideas um, and my own riffs and stuff like that. But um, an overdrive pedal means a lot to me in certain forms of what's it going to do to my amp, and am I still gonna be able to play the way I like to play and get the tones I want to sculpt and cultivate into my own sound. And uh, this Black Widow is pretty badass. <laughs> You did really good, uh, Chris Ray and Michelle with the graphics and stuff like that. Um, this has got a really mean tone to it and I'm known obviously angry tones, you know, with the little coined term behind the name there. I like an angrier sounding amplifier. I like angry sounding pedals. Anything that gets that really aggressive tone that's, you know, got the angst to it. It's gonna be something I enjoy playing through and something I enjoy dialing in sounds. But Let's get back to it. I just want to go ahead and show you the gain stages that this pedal offers, even though it's going to get loud. I got the amp loud and I'm not running a noise gate. Sometimes that's nice if you want to, you know, ditch some of the, you know, amp hiss and stuff like that. If you're doing um, more staccato type riffing, jet type riffing, I'm just going to be playing some metal chord, thrash metal type riffs as always. That's my favorite. It's my forte, if you will. <laughs> but I really like that you guys enjoy these videos. Like and subscribe if you like hearing what I do. And of course on Instagram, Angry Tones Riff Clips, you'll find me there as well, I'm doing little 60 minute or 60 second little clips. And uh, let's just play around with this pedal some more. This thing's ridiculous. I'm gonna back the gain down just a little bit so you can get a little bit more of a focused, defined sound. Let's see what we got here. 
That sounds really sick right there. You can get a really nice uh, focused articulate sound and uh, it really responds well with your pick attack, however you're playing, your mutes, if you heard that little rumble in there. That's why I like to crank the amp up when I do these videos. Um, I'm obviously known for my room tones. I'm not using anything super fancy in here, no post EQ, no running it through double tracks and doing mixes. That's all fine and great. There's a lot of cats doing killer videos like that, a lot of sharp players. Um, but I like to just do a room tone. I'm using a shotgun road condenser microphone and it just sounds great, sounds great. So um, let's go ahead and see what this pedal sounds like with some other pedals. Does it play nice with other effects such as delay or reverb or something like that? Sometimes when you run an overdrive, they respond well with pedals and sometimes they don't. But let's see what the uh, Black Widow sounds like with some delay. Once again, let's do the amp's original tone. I don't wanna get away from what this pedal is actually doing. This is a nice warm sounding amp. Original tone. Black Widow. Definitely much hotter. And let's go, and obviously a little sharper, more presence. Let's go ahead and click on a uh, little tape echo delay, see what we got here. much of a lead guy but this has got killer sustain a lot of nice note definition and I like how it's crisp kind of sounds like you have an extra brightness switch on the amp or something like that let's try that again <laughs> That is killer. It sounds really good with this pedal. Let's hit that uh, delay off and go ahead and use a little reverb. Let's see what we got here with some reverb. Get some 80s tones. Let's even play with the volume and see how much headroom it has.
kick-ass right there really nice sound really good 80s vibes it almost kind of kind of had a jcm 800 feel with a you know a mod or a boost going on in there with this overdrive pedal gave it a little bit more of that classic sound but obviously with a little bit more fangs because we're using a randall they're known for having a certain growl that i'm just a really big fan of randall's sound they got that growl that bite all those little adjectives we throw in there for what kind of tones we like to hear but uh you know to close out this video, I'm going to do something a little different. It's not a big deal, but sometimes I like to hear how these pedals sound like with really big full chords and see how they bloom and how they come alive. Um, I'm obviously really into doing all the chuggy stuff. That's my favorite thing. That's what I'm after. And that's how I play all day. You know, I, I like to dabble around in little solos and little riffs and stuff like that, but I don't know how to do arpeggios. I never really learned the sweep thing. Um, got a lot of friends that know how to do it really well, but I was always a great rhythm guitarist is I think being a drummer for most of my life um, started playing drums since I was six years old um, really made me a percussive player you know what I mean and even when I started bands in high school and stuff like that in junior high and through my adult life I'm 42 years old now I was always the guy chugging just stank face rhythms you know while people are doing the solos over it and it was just my favorite thing so Let's do some big chords, see how they bloom with the Black Widow Overdrive. Once again, from Chris Ray Premium Effect Pedals. Check them out, you guys. Really great stuff coming out of his shop and really affordable pedals. You can't beat it. They're great designs. They sound killer. And the art's nice because it's it's custom. You know, it's, it's, it's handmade by them. So let's go ahead and do some big chords. Once again, Amps Tone. <laughs> not big chords but that's just to show you the amps sound clicking on the black widow <laughs> sounding really rad you guys i really like it like i said it's fun to get to know a pedal check out the knobs and see what it does for you and this so far has been my favorite setting 
I showed you in the frame a close-up of the pedal earlier, but since it's on the floor, volume is buried, gain is at its second stage, which seems to be my favorite for the tighter and snugger settings, where earlier in the video we got it to at least four or five, sitting this close to the amp so we don't get mad feedback, you know? But uh, this is sounding rad. I really like the tone of this pedal. I'm going to go ahead and start with the riff I did, you know, opening up this video and just close out with the tight, snug sounds. Um, but... I've kept the tone at noon on this uh, on this pedal, so let's go ahead and crank the tone up to about 75% at about 2 o'clock or so and see if we get even sharper articulate tone. We'll turn the switch there. <laughs> sustain on this thing that's great chris ray thank you so much this pedal is absolutely awesome sounds sinister definitely has the bite of a black widow <laughs> it's a great pedal you guys check it out hope you guys enjoy this simple demo just want to have fun with it today and uh show you some tones that work for me that's what i like to do with my pedal demos just how does it sound with my gear how does it work with my type of playing Let's see if it works for you if you enjoy it but thank you guys for checking it out. Really enjoy that you guys check out these videos. Like and subscribe once again. I'm going to keep them coming. As long as I have some cool pedals to throw out there, um, I'm going to keep on doing what I do. But you guys have fun. Stay safe with this COVID stuff and uh, keep shredding. That's what keeps me uh, uh, you know, going. Block out that negativity and keep it positive with jamming some metal. That's what it's all about. But you guys have fun and uh, get yourself a Black Widow Overdrive from Chris. The thing cranks absolutely crushing. Thanks again, you guys. Take it easy.